design can go um, beyond being aesthetically pleasing and a good designer, they have to think of everyone. One of the things that I've learned is Phnom Penh is rapidly urbanising, so I think there's definitely an opportunity to go into that human-centred um, design in one-to-one in, in -one scale. So it has to be done with the specific culture in mind and the use as well. One of the things specific to Cambodia and specific to the festival was how it would reflect the community, how it would get the community together, and that's how you create good, inclusive design. The most important thing that I gained from working with the two Cambodian counterparts was that I was able to really experience the city a lot more genuinely and a lot more empathetically. Our day-to-day -day would be me going with them, um, they both had two motorbikes, and sort of going to places that um, I wouldn't be able to engage with if I were by myself. I think getting to know the city was just really, really nice. One of the things that I've learned is approaching design through a more interdisciplinary lens. So really trying to be aware of um, other identities, um, especially minority um, social classes, races, um, sexuality and gender, and how to create design um, that is really community and human focused. After the one month internship, since the festival was a month later, um, I, I wanted to actually continue doing work, um, so just over online, I finished all the graphics and I've seen um, the exhibition sort of come to life over the internet basically. And I think that in itself really shows how rewarding it was and how enjoyable um, it was to do.